Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently I hope everybody has heard about Google Bard now. I think you may be using and again, a good competitor is ChatGPT. Uh, and recently this two conversational AI, right, has been the buzz of the town, right? And many people have been comparing this and I think tons of videos have been made. But again, uh, this video is focusing on just the comparison. I'm not going to probably write many things and show you how both of them are giving the output. But I'm just going to talk about the most important factors. Like if you're interested to become a data scientist, probably this kind of factors will definitely open your your mindset with respect to how these specific models are basically getting created, right? And the reason why I'm making this video and probably a series of videos going forward, because I really need to make you understand about the generative AI, because I think in the upcoming two years, many, many startups are going to come up and they are going to work in the generative AI field uh, where they may be creating text to text models, LLM models. Uh, they may also create text to audio, text to uh, image, text to videos, right? This kind of models, which will be able to create the own audio files just by considering a text. Uh, it can be anything as such, right? So there are a lot of amazing opportunities that may come up in generative AI. And again, in this video, I'm going to talk about chat GPT and Google bot based on various parameters. So let me go ahead and share my screen and I hope everybody have the access of uh, Google Bard at least because it is completely for free. I've also taken a chat GPT subscription just to play with it. So I have this chat GPT plus and probably it takes somewhere around monthly $20, you know, and again, here you have two versions: chat GPT 3.5 and chat GPT, uh, sorry, GPT four. Again, this is based on the specific models that is basically getting created, right? And Google Bard, uh, obviously here, uh, you specifically use the Palm 2 model. Okay, I'll talk about it. See, again, I'm saying you Palm 2 model is there, Lambda model is there, like uh, all these models, you know, you'll be able to understand in this playlist because I'm going to open up each and every model of this because these are all based on transformer model only, right? And uh, in this video, we are just going to make this specific comparison. And uh, what is the data set basically trained on Google Bard? I'm also going to discuss about this. What is the data set probably maybe used in chat GPT? Everything will be coming in the picture. So first thing, uh, let, let me, let's just let me make a simple search over here, right? So I, here I'll just say that uh, uh, provide me some Python code to start with Flask. Okay, I'm just asking a simple question to start with Flask. So this is the first comparison I really want to make over here. So see the code is coming. The speed is very good with respect to chat GPT 3.5 chat GPT 4, uh, sorry, uh, chat GPT 4, which is there, right? That is a little bit slow. So if you probably see over here and if I just close this and you here, you can see chat GPT 4, GPT 4, which is specifically using, if I ask the same question over here, it may probably give me the outputs a little bit slow when compared to chat GPT 3.5, but chat GPT 4, right? It is really accurate when compared to uh, 3.5. Okay, so this is the first comparison. So I will just say provide me the code of Python to start start with flask. I'm not focusing much on the grammatical issues. It will, it will just give me the automatically everything. Okay, so here, fine, I'm not given the proper sentence, provide me the code of Python start with flask. <laughs> I've just written something. Okay, the same thing I will copy over here. Now this is what I like, like in Google Bard. Okay. I probably if I ask this question, you know, Google Bard will think over it and it will provide me the response, the most human response, right? Like how we talk to a people, how we talk to a person, right? Uh, the way that we are able to understand probably Google Bard gives a very good result when compared to uh, chat GPT over here, right? Now here you can see there are a lot of differences with respect to the output that is given by this and the given by this. Okay. See the output is almost same. If you probably see both the output is almost same. Okay. Hello world. Hello world. Everything is same here. You can see the explanation. Fine. This is also fine here. You can also see the explanation. Everything is fine. Okay. To make sure you have to run this, 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 everything is there. Okay. But now here you can see the application will start running on this. This is there. sources has been given over here, right? Google Bard is specifically saying that, okay, fine, we have taken the sources. So it is at least giving the credits to the people who have actually coded this, right? And probably I can go ahead and visit his uh, GitHub link over here. So Shumam over here, pa Garg, uh, he has basically given this, right? So everything is over here and Google is already given this. And similarly here in chat GPT, you cannot find all those information, 
right this is the first major difference that i probably found out and this is quite amazing right and here you can also make sure that you can give a good response or bad response see internally it is also taking this reinforcement learning technique suppose if i give this is a bad response probably from the next time if you probably write the same kind of query it is not going to give you the specific output so this is specifically good it is also telling you that from which resource it is basically picking it up and it is also giving you some more suggested topics right this is an amazing thing from google bard and probably in chat gpt you don't have this right uh, i don't know see in the future they may come up with this things you know uh, but i definitely like this one so in terms of human like response in terms of making understand making uh, things understandable to the human beings i think this kind of input is always good okay now this is that here okay this is with respect to the first point if you probably as a coder if you ask any questions right it will be giving you all the specific information right so let's see uh, the other things also we'll try to see over here and we'll try to have a look okay now the second important thing okay we'll talk about the data set which chat gpt is basically trained and google bard is basically trained and this is super important for everyone out there to understand like what kind of data set specifically chat gpt has been using or google bard has been using okay so for this uh, see obviously when we talk about chat gpt or google bard these are like llm models right large language models huge models right for this kind of huge models you definitely require a huge data right and obviously if i talk about google or microsoft they definitely have huge amount of data right they can probably scroll <laughs> they can probably crawl the entire internet just in a seconds of time right so considering this if i talk about chat gpt4 right uh, right now the chat gpt4 which is based on gpt4 itself right this has been trained uh, from huge extensive data set from the internet including books articles uh, documents scraps from various websites from the open web itself right so these are the specific data points that are there and uh, soon after this particular video i'll be talking about probably just give me a couple of days time i'll be talking about like how this chat gpt model is basically trained there are three major factors that is basically required where reinforcement learning is also required in internally and how smartly they have actually done this reinforcement learning we'll be talking about that also but when i compare with respect to bard right the reason it is able to give you this human like response right because the data set that is basically used over here we basically call it as infiniset okay so i will just search for something called as infiniset now see when i search for infiniset it is saying that over here first link google bard ai which sites were used to train it okay and here you will be able to find us detailed information see this guys so detail of the website used to train bard and lambda Okay, before lambda was used in bard now it is spam to um it is in secrecy but they are giving say that 50 percent of training data is from public forums okay programming q a websites tutorial sites used for training right google bard is based on lambda language which is not true right now because they have changed the model now okay uh, palm 2 is there okay so here you'll be able to see that what are data sets they specifically use 12.5 c4 based data 12.5 percent english language wikipedia 12.5 percent code documents from programming qa websites tutorial and others 6.25 percent english web documents 6.25 percent non-english web documents right now this all data has been basically taken in google bard ai and why we say it as infinite data set infinite set sorry this is specifically designed for conversation and dialogue that basically means whenever you are asking something right that information will get a proper response because why see one some information of the data set is basically given over here right uh, programming q a websites and tutorial users right so if q a is there obviously you will be able to get a proper response right so this is the second main thing that i was able to find out with respect to this right and this is very very good because this will actually define the base when we are going to understand about the models and all okay now the third thing is that with respect to bard right this is definitely connected to the internet like like i i hope everybody knows right recently in karnataka there was an election so i will say that like, tell me about the recent recent elections in karnataka okay and if you don't know just recently just a week back uh, this election had actually happened right so if you probably see over here you will be able to get the output saying that what was the recent election information okay uh tell me about the recent election in karnataka i don't have the capacity to understand and read <laughs> okay there is something problem let's see i'm all tell uh 
who won the so this answer will be good who won the recent election in karnataka okay i think now you'll be able to get the answer but i think this kind of answers also should be able to give because see there is definitely problem again the next point that i probably want to discuss about is like authenticity of the response right both of them you know they will be giving they will have some confusion with respect to some of the things and probably i can show you that when i can, when i have time with respect to that you can we can play with it in one live session i had played with it so here you can see the indian national congress won the recent election meaning 135 seats so this all information are accurate right this all information are definitely accurate and this is basically picking up from the news articles probably which google already has and you can even google it right now if i probably ask the same question with chat gpt okay so it probably shows you over here that it it is just trained with data up till september 2021 okay therefore i cannot provide information on the winner of the recent education so it is not connected to internet right now see it is not a big deal because see uh, at the end of the day uh, microsoft also uses bing right uh, and bing also has a crawler right it can be connected it can be implemented probably in the future it can be so not a very good major difference as such but i really wanted to show you because this you can probably clearly see it okay now talking about all the other things best thing about google bard right now is that the type of response it gives to the user is very very user friendly you'll be able to understand it quickly you'll be able to uh, find good suggestions good good things and so i'm not saying that chat gpt is bad but yes when compared to bard a little bit up minor things will definitely be there okay this is the next thing i also told about like what all models it been trained with chat gpt is basically trained with uh, gpt 3.5 gpt 4 whereas google bard right now before it was in lambda now it is in palm 2 uh, all these architectures i will probably define uh, in the or i'll i'll <laughs> probably discuss in the future itself when compared to user friendliness i still feel that uh, chat gpt and this i still feel google bard is a very good uh, in terms of user friendly in terms of the uh, the box where we are probably searching you can also use the dark theme if you specifically want if you want to use the light theme you can specifically use this right now the major difference one more difference that i really want to talk about is specifically with respect to the charge and price okay right now chat gpt is providing you in 20 dollars it also gives you free access but it is a little bit slow but when compared to google bard right now it is definitely free and again due to competitiveness i think it is in free i don't know how google is probably going to use it in the future they may make it paid they may not make it paid it depends on what is their major vision going on in the future uh yeah but these are the basic difference with respect to providing you outputs with respect to the code and all i've already told you you can ask any questions almost both of them gives the similar kind of question when it comes to complex problem statements uh, complex mathematical equations i don't uh, i'll not say mathematical equation but at least if i give iit je problem statement obviously both will not be able to do it unless and until it is trained with that specific data okay uh, i'm still not tried with google bard but definitely i'll try it in the future but yeah this was the some of the things that are there grammatically i think google bard is better when compared to chat gpt right so i have ex uh, explored little bit of this but let's see in the future how much i will be exploring things with respect to writing all the essays assignments this all are definitely good both of them right but i still feel that uh, two platforms are trying to achieve a major goal of vision and uh, they will be keep on fighting with each other some may come up with additional features some may implement more features as such so there will be a tough competition but just to give you an idea about this uh, i really wanted to make this video because going forward i'll be talking about generative ai llm models and all right so yes this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all take care bye bye have a great day